we're going to be talking about the panel box. You have different size breakers and different size wires and each breaker matches the size of wire. We're going to start with your 14-2 wire, 15 amps and this is what you have mostly in your house and it's hooked up to a 15 amp breaker and on that you can have a maximum of 12 appliances. Here you have the same thing, 14-2 wire, blue jacketed, hooked up to an arc fault detector. Bedrooms now have to be wired up with arc fault protectors. Up here we have 14-3 wire, 120 volts, 120 volts on a double pole 15 amp breaker. This is used for split receptacles in your kitchen. Down here we have 10 gauge wire, 120 volts, 120 volts on a 30 amp double pole breaker. This is used for your electric dryer. 120 volts, 120 volts is 240 to look after your heating element. Then you have 120 to look after your lights and motors. Here we have a 40 amp ground fault interrupter circuit breaker. 120, 120, 240 volts to look after your hot tub, 120 to look after your controls. We go over here to this side, we have an 8 gauge wire, 40 amp breaker, double pole. This is for your stove, again 240 volts and 120 for your lights and controls. Here we have a 12 gauge wire, yellow jacketed, 20 amps. This is for your ground fault interrupter on the side of your sink. Here we have 10 gauge wire, red jacketed. Whenever you see red jacketed wire, you automatically know it's 240 volts. 120, 120, 240 volts. This is for your hot water heater hooked up to a double pole 30 amp breaker. Down here, we have 14 gauge wire again hooked up to a ground fault interrupter and this would be for your whirlpool tubs. It doesn't matter if it's fuses or circuit breakers. If it's a 15 amp fuse, it's 14 gauge wire. 20 amp fuse, it's 10 gauge wire. They all work exactly the same way.